Okay. Let's pull some cards today and see what we come up with. What is our next message? This garden keeps appearing to me. What is our next message? I hope everyone's having a good day. I actually had a decent day today. Energetically calm and smooth and understanding. So let's see. The lightning. The book, the journal. That's the second journal that we have here. The garden. The dog. And the clouds. Let's do some of these. Let's get a love reading if we can. We have another journal here. Another dog. And a stork. New beginnings. It's cloud energy as well. Zoo, clock and relations, first time, okay. So we have the lightning, denotes surprise, disagreeable in accordance to distance, and we have the book, the dog, the clouds, the stork. Loyalty, changes, and new beginning, and books. This time, I'm gonna shut. Let's see the house, the fish, the sky, the disappointment. I believe some somebody here who I am channeling, who's ever watching this. I believe that. First of all, time doesn't matter, so it could be at any day, any time. But this person is being delayed in some way. Perhaps marriage is being delayed. Loyalty is being delayed. So we have a disagreement with these books. Something about knowledge or memories something about knowledge and memories. So we have a disagreement with this knowledge and memory of an event with this person. And we have the loyalty of this new change on the horizon. We have this loyal, solid foundation of prospect for this person. And then we have these disagreements, these unentertaining squabs that no one wants to deal with. So we need a, a zookeeper. Where's the zookeeper? <laughs> um, so we have this disagreement with this knowledge, um, perhaps about marriage. Perhaps that's what this knowledge and disagreement is about. Maybe somebody doesn't want to get married. Maybe somebody does. Maybe somebody doesn't believe in marriage. And maybe the, the other person, that's all that they hoped for. You know, they thought that was their ship, their way of finding love and understanding love and knowing love. They think that if they're married to them, that they will have them. And there is no way of not unmarrying them. But there are ways, as we can see in society. So I would suggest to the person who wants to get married and their partner doesn't, 
whether the partner doesn't basis on they just don't then i'm going to say that person doesn't love you and it's time to sweep them away but if they are marrying because uh, not wanting to get married because that is something they don't believe in they don't believe in marriage they believe that that is something of the past that it's not necessary in today's age well that's a necessary um that's a pretty substantial reason right there just make sure that you're they're being honest about that you know um, a lot of people nowadays, you know, what's the point in getting married? Most people just get divorced anyways, and you can be with somebody for a really long time and get to know them, you know, and then one day after maybe 10 years of knowing them, you will decide, you'll know, like, we've stuck together this long. I think some people get married, get married because they think they, if they just settle down real quick, then they can stop choosing, you know? They think that if they just stay together without the marriage, that one of them will leave. And that's not always the truth. The best um, couples in relationships usually are those who choose not to get married and choose to just be together. Um, in this day and age, it is really hard to choose or find a man that can do that to begin with. As we have this Karma 2 card popping up, I have the, on the other side, over the rainbow heart one. This is when you're loving yourself and you're fully in your heart space and your self-love space. This is when there are, you know, threes a party karma, even two people, you know, when you're not ready to be in love. You have, um, you know, not focusing on yourself enough to be in love. So this is that card. Um, so whoever this is, you know, it's not time. And maybe try it. Maybe you will like it more if you stop focusing on marriage so much and just start focusing on your relationship on enjoying each other's company and having fun that is the best way i would say to go about it whosoever message this is if you're deciding whether or not to get married i would say don't i would say wait post it wait because you never know what may happen there's these ladies here again these whips oh and the bouquet so perhaps this man has two little ladies here. Perhaps this man has two ladies. Um, and the, he's choosing between the devilish karmic and the lady, the divine feminine, as people like to call them, I guess. Uh, even though I don't see anything divine about anything on this earth, where we should not be proud of this earth right now and how it's been going. This is not divine action. This is earthly human action and human mistakes and flaws. So let's not, I'm not even going to call them divine. So we have these female ladies and this marriage. Maybe they both want marriage. Maybe that's it. Maybe she wants to be more like the lady and the marriage with the bouquet of flowers being given to her, you know. But since we did get a bouquet and she has a flower in her hand, this man obviously wants to be with this lady woman. He obviously wants that. Um, and if we look at it that way, we can see that this disagreement with this knowledge about this marriage concept it's a loyal disagree loyal disagreement and these clouds these rain clouds that you have are feeling right now experiencing over this topic it's a new beginning it's going to be a happy new beginning for you guys your ship is going to sail off and be just fine i believe that whatever this energy spirit is coming out for that it's nothing to be worried about um, in the long term, but right now, yes, he probably has another option there. I just seen the snake woman card come out too. Um, so yes, he has another option here, but he's not going to choose it. He's going to choose her, but just be wary of that. Maybe that's why you shouldn't get married right now and wait. Maybe, you know, there's some stuff you need to learn first and you never know. He could not be the one, especially if you're having to talk him into it. That's not the one. He should willingly want to. You. you know what a man wants because he is very open about it. You will be able to feel the love. If he, you don't feel the love around him, it's because he doesn't love you. So just keep that in mind, ladies. Don't be desperate for one man. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You will find somebody else.
And even him probably is not going to be that great because of the men in this society today are not that great. It's just something we have to accept, you know. They never really have been, have they? But they love these women because these women don't come with commitments. These women just sleep with you and they take your money and they're gone and you don't have to deal with the emotional factor. You don't have to deal with any of that. But then again, this woman takes care of you and has your children and promotes you and looks at you like you are a king, you know, and this woman, you know, she's paid to do that, but this woman does it on her own free will because she does truly does feel that way, you know. So these are the two types of women, and if you're a man with a marriage choice, then these are clearly the two types of women that you're choosing between this classy woman and the woman who just wants your money, pretty much. The woman who wants to love you and the woman who wants to, uh, you know, you know the deal there. So, um, it looks like that's the choice here, but clearly, you know, loyalty and the clouds and the new beginnings and you have this, this awful energy over here with this woman. So this betrayal and disagreements with knowledge. Maybe she's not very intelligent. There's no intelligent conversations here. Um, but this woman has it all, you know. She's got a whole bouquet of flowers. She has it all. And she has her ship and her jewels and her Fabergé eggs and her dogs and her new beginnings and her rain clouds and her sun shining through. And she has all of that. And this woman has a sickle and a broom and disagreements and knowledge that she is disagreeing these journals that she probably writes in all the time trying to understand why she is not like this you know but uh, whatever the deal is there you know um, let's pull another card one more why not right let's see we have the garden. Can you just oh, and the lilies. Can you just in the clover. Can you just imagine this woman surrounded in a garden with all of her beautiful lilies and her clouds and her journals. Can you just imagine it? It just looks like home, right? It looks like home. Oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, this is where this lady belongs right here, around beauty. This is what this woman deserves. She deserves all this beauty, you know? She deserves all this beauty. Because look at this. Does this look right to you? It, does this look like a woman who's hanging out in a garden because she's growing it or because she's doing something naughty in it? You know? Uh, <laughs> I mean, is that the kind of woman you want as you're the mother of your child, raising more women like this? I don't think so. So, but then again, it is your choice. I just love this. I mean, the ladies out there who are ladies and who do love this little scene right here, isn't it beautiful? Don't we deserve it? We really do. Okay, <laughs> I hope that we enjoyed this reading. Goodbye.